Welcome. So what I want to do is I just want to determine the amplitude and the period of this function. And because by just determining the amplitude and period of the function, it's going to be very easy for us to be able to later graph the problem. So right now I have a trigonometric function, y equals 1 fourth sine of 2 pi x. Now remember, when finding the amplitude and the period, that was all, we could find those values by what was given in the standard form of a trigonometric function. So for the sine, we had y equals a times sine of bx minus c plus d. So that was our standard form. And there was a couple things that we remembered happening. Our amplitude ended up being the absolute value of a. So in this case, we look at our a, which in, this, in our example is 1 fourth. So the absolute value of 1 fourth is just equal to 1 fourth. That means, remember, the amplitude was the half distance between your maximum and your minimum value of your uh, y values of your graph. Then let's go and take a look at the period. Now the period, what affected the period was going to be your b, your coefficient of your x. So what we did was we took the natural period of our parent graph, which was 2 pi, and we then divided it by b. Well, in this case, we look at our b, and we see the coefficient is not just one term, but it's actually two terms. It's actually 2 pi divided by 2 pi. So therefore, our period in this case is 1. And remember, that's how long it takes for your graph to complete one cycle. So it's going to take one unit for this graph to complete one cycle. There you go. Hope you enjoyed.